What's up guys, Cycling Fanatics, back in Hong Kong. Today I went to the Black Friday sale at the Rafa shop, got myself a new jersey. Right now I'm just checking out this great sunset. In this video I'll show you the Rafa shop, what they do. I'm just gonna take a quick spin around the island. What's up guys? Cycling Fanatics! Good morning! It's uh, 2.30 in Hong Kong. Today I'm on my way to yet again the Rafa shop. I was in Hong Kong last week, went up to Lantau Island. I went home three days, back to Hong Kong. And now I'm here for a couple days again. Last Friday, it was Black Friday. Right now it's Sunday, but still the Black Friday sale is ongoing, so at the Rafa shop they still have sales going on. And I'm gonna check out those sales and also I'm looking for a jersey. I'm looking for something specific, uh, which I will explain later. Today I'm looking for a specific jersey. The Rafa jerseys I have at the moment either have very high pockets, which is not very handy when I um, have to put in the camera and take it out again when I'm filming on the bike. They're super thin and lightweight, but for me stuffing my pockets all the way with all my gear and my food, it just makes them hang a bit. So I'm trying to find a jersey which is a little more strong in the back, so it stays in shape a little bit better when I stuff it completely with food, cameras, batteries, my phone and all that stuff. So when I go on these long rides I can still take a lot of stuff and, um, and don't have to worry about my, my jersey hanging halfway up my ass. So I'm gonna have a look at the jerseys, see which one will fit the best. And of course I'm picking up the bike, it's right here, it's ready. It's Canyon Ultimate, you've, you've seen me riding it a lot of times now, so that's the bike I'm going to be riding later today and tomorrow and the day after. How's it hey going? Hey man, what's up? How are you? Good. Alright guys, this is Noah, he works at the shop. Yep. Uh, he's going to help me out with uh, my jersey, my bike, and we're going to talk a little bit about the rides and the shop here in Hong Kong. I'm looking for a jersey for uh, riding, a little bit longer rides. Yeah. I want to stuff my camera okay. and all the other stuff in the pockets. Yeah, no worries. So right. if you're looking for something like this weather, uh, autumn, a bit chilly in the morning, um, I'm gonna suggest uh, probably either the mid-weight or the classic. If you want something a bit strong pockets, I'll probably go for the classic. And also it's a bit more relaxed fit so you can actually ride it all day with like, all day comfort. I'm gonna try on some jerseys and then uh, see which one fits me the best. That's the... Okay, thanks. No. So it's a merino blend, so it's gonna be keep you warm and also breathable. Um, there's a heavier design on the back for the pockets and also sip. You can put your keys in that pocket, valuables, and then for your camera and all the extras on the back. I've tried on two jerseys. This one and this one. This one is a little bit more relaxed, a little bit thicker. It's not as tight as the other jerseys I have. It has very big pockets. That's nice to take all my gear on a long ride. So I think I'm gonna go for this one. I can have everything on me and don't have to worry about my, uh, my jersey stretching out a lot because of all the stuff in the pockets. So I'm gonna try out this one later today, see how it feels on the bike. I'll do a long ride on Tuesday as well. All right, Noah, yeah. tell me about the shop. I've been here, what now, like four times? Four times, yeah. yeah. I remember the first time when you come over. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that was like, really cool. Um, so we started the, this pop-up store um, about Four months now so no it's been very popular great support from the local community and also different like travelers as well so our rental has been really good each weekend like most of our high bikes would go out we always invite them to join our club rides or group rides so to show them around hong kong kind of exploring the different climbs and 
Yeah, as, we as, went to Lantau yeah, last exactly. week. Yeah, <laughs> I, so this ride was really cool going to Lantau Island. Uh, if you ever here in the, in the area, you really should go there yeah. because it's uh, very steep climbs, <laughs> but also the views. We had a little bit shady day, a bit foggy, yeah. but uh, at the end the ride was really really cool. Yeah, I guess it's make sure terrain is very hilly, so you need to be prepared to climb. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Nothing is flat here in Hong Kong. Our club rides like Thursday night is our night ride, so a lot of like, locals uh, would like to ride at night time after work. So you tend to find that we now have a very big following on the night rides Thursday night. It's a nice way to see Hong Kong, especially the peak. You've probably seen it. I've been <laughs> up the peak at uh, 2 o'clock in the night. Yeah, yeah, so you've seen the view. is absolutely magnificent. So, and also we have do little workshops. So last Friday we did a home mechanic course. Yeah. So we invited loads of like members to come and join in. It's actually for a chance of, for new riders as well to, to practice how to change the inner tube or changing the brake pads. Oh yeah, good, good. Do you think the, the whole cycling community is relatively new here in Hong Kong? Is it people that have been riding their bikes for their whole life or they just started? A lot, a mixture. Hong Kong is such a busy city. They're always trying to find a little thing to just relax and yeah. take their mind off the, the heavy schedule they have. Yeah. Um, riding a bike seems to be very good. Um, you tend to see more newcomers riding on the Kowloon side, new territories. Okay. Where there's actually cycle paths uh, available. Oh, so, is there? Yeah, so there's more cycle paths. I'm going to find out then on yeah. Tuesday, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah. so, um, so there's, there's more, more available and the traffic is a bit less dense, so it's a bit more people are less scared to do it. Yeah, because when I came here for the first couple of times, yeah. I didn't know about cycling in Hong yeah. Kong. Yeah. It's, it's a community that's sort of, it's hidden. It's very hidden. Like, because when I tell, tell to my colleagues, yeah. they're like, you're gonna be riding a bike? <laughs> Uh, can you do that? Exactly. It's like, yes, you can, but you need to know where to go and exactly. where not to go. Time-wise, it's normally between 5 to 7 o'clock when you see the riders out. At night? Uh, in the morning. In the morning. Oh, in the morning. In the morning. So that you're normally done by 8 o'clock, so when the traffic starts. Okay. And then at night time, between 8 to 12. <laughs> and even some riders will go even later. So like one, at 1 a.m., yeah. that's when they go out. Uh, so like I did, but that's because <laughs> of my jet lag. It's easier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, no, that's a, that's a thing, and like with Black Friday as well, like we get loads loads of people. Was busy. Busy, like also loads of people new to Rafa. It's nice to explain to them, educate them about our, our line, yeah, and show them what how great a range we have, and and people have been very happy. Like the feedback's been great, so cool. Hoping to keep this strong and hopefully turn this into a permanent store. Yeah, that's, uh, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I come here for the bike rental and uh, well, today I got a jersey, so that's very really nice. But yeah. first of all, they're everywhere I go. Yeah, much. exactly. And I really like the bike, so uh, it's a perfect combination. Yeah. So I really like it. Thanks for uh, for some information about no. the shop. I really hope you guys are going to stay here for a long I time. I hope so too, yeah. And um, I'm going to be riding the bike. I'll return it on Tuesday. Yeah and uh, I will see you the next time. Yeah, well, good luck. Uh, have fun in Hong Kong. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. Perfect. Yeah, yeah cheers, man. Cheers. I got what I came for. I've got the bike. I've got the jersey. I'm going to take the MTR back to the hotel because I want to drop off, want to drop off my gear and then go for a nice easy spin around the island. Two hours of uh, two hours slow endurance. Yesterday was a travel day. These flights are getting pretty tough on me, so uh, I need to take it easy today. And then tomorrow we can do some hill repeats. Probably Noah's gonna join me, and maybe Alex. Alex is gonna join me, so we might be with three. Okay, back on the bike, a two hour spin around Hong Kong Island, now it's still light. Going through these streets, I saw this view and I just have to show you, this is amazing. The color of the sky with the sun going down looks very good. 
It is 5.30, it's about 30 minutes to sunset, so I still have a little bit of daylight. Brought the lights on the bike, so I'm fine. This view is awesome. I had some other stuff to do today. I wanted to go to some shops. But since the shops are open late in Hong Kong, I figured, yeah, I'll go riding first. And then go to the shop later. I didn't really realize I was gonna hit rush hour. Riding in rush hour, shit. I think I've had the most busy part of the city. My plan today is just a ride completely around the island. Uh, the first part was really, really bad. Right now I'm going in the direction of Stanley, hoping it's gonna be better. It's finally a bit more quiet. It's also getting dark. Sky colors are very nice. Yeah, this road is pretty quiet. It's going to Shekho Beach. I was just riding uphill and there was a big bus behind me for about five minutes. The road was too windy for him to look if he could pass. There were no outlets. I couldn't go to the side, there was no shoulder. So I was pretty much holding up all traffic. Cycling Hong Kong just needs a bunch of directions. You really need to go where to go, on what time. And I found out today, five o'clock, not a good time to ride. Just went down to Shek O Beach, turned around and now I'm riding back up. This road is actually pretty good, not too busy, but unfortunately is on the opposite side of the island as where I'm staying. So to get there through traffic, is just really bad. If not, I would have done just a couple of laps up and back on this road, but I need to get back in about two hours total. So I'm gonna continue my loop around the island now. It's almost eight o'clock. I'm uh, back in Causeway Bay, almost back at the hotel. The ride actually took a little longer than I expected, so I don't think I have time to go to all the shops after I uh, take a shower and get some food. So we'll have to postpone that for another day. But right now, whew, right now I just need to find my way back to the hotel. The last little bit is always a bit difficult to find, but this is it for the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Guys, we're gonna see you next time. See ya! Whoa. Cycling in Hong Kong needs a bit of uh, a bit of Garmin.